Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C. Uh, let's go ahead and keep on the sound threat reborn. Intelligence More has asteroids. requested the help of our squadron to escort a convoy to a secret cargo transfer. The convoy consists of three ships the GTC Adamant and two freighters with cargo. All three carry important supplies and research. To avoid detection, the rendezvous point is located within a dense asteroid field. Sentry guns have been placed at the destination, but the convoy will still require protection until it reaches the safe zone. Alpha and Beta Wings will destroy any asteroids in its path. When the convoy has reached the safe zone, return to base. Okay, so this seems pretty uh, intelligence suspects that Shiva and remnants may be using the asteroid field as a staging area. If that any Shiva really mean the anything convoy, as you've seen from the, the last few missions here. Uh, can't remember what exactly happens during this mission, but I'm sure something's going to happen. Let's see, go with the Valkyrie again. Valkyrie's uh, I mean, those are great for taking down the asteroids, but. Said, I'm sure something's going to happen here, so. So, we can I carry the Hornets? Yeah. I'll go with those. And then, uh, let's see, Dummy the Banshee and Meet this. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, transports are jumping in. I should probably stop before I get hit, and uh, there's the Adamant. Going at a nice, fast speed here. Yes, they do. That's what intelligence does. They repair the alert pilots. We're entering the field now. Usually it involves killing the astronauts. Though. Looks like everything's set up right. Uh, might take a little bit of power out of my engines again. Just uh, don't think I'll need it right now. And I'd rather be ready. Actually, I probably just need the Prometheus. Uh, I believe that's the one that does the hole damage, and that's what's really going to destroy the asteroids. Another thing I need to look out for is make sure I'm not. Okay, good. I need to make sure I'm not too close to the ships. I don't want to uh, accidentally crash into one of the ships. So far, so good. Might infringe on some Atari copyrights. 
Oh shit, I think that asteroid hit that shit. Oh, let's keep going on and take out these asteroids if possible. Bombers are coming in right on top of us. Get locked in and take these guys out before they can do any serious damage. Because they will do a lot more damage than the asteroid. Right. And that guy's gone. There we go. Shit. Got hit by one of my own fighters. Looks like all the bombers are down, though. I'm not getting any more asteroids in my HUD. I mean, there's more asteroids, but I'm not seeing any more collisions this morning. Looks like we're getting close to the uh, sentry guns, because those are now uh, showing up. Going down. Let's see. I'm actually kind of curious now. What does it say about the cargo? Classified. I guess we can kind of guess it's some secret weapon thingy. Primary objective complete, so I guess we took out all the bombers. Enemy wing has just arrived. So another wing is gone. Now we've got Rama wing. Might be a little bit safer if we didn't have all these asteroid chunks going in here, but uh, too bad we don't have any like super secret weapons that we can use. Convoy is now in a safe zone. They're out the rest of the hospital to return the base. Okay, so uh, nothing really happened during this mission. But no monkey wrenches or anything, just uh, escorting classified cargo. Which is uh, just a really great job for an intelligent operator like uh, myself. So it looks like that was everything, so let's go ahead and jump to base. The arming sequence aborted. Oh yeah, I did have that guy following me around, didn't really need him though. Good work, Good pilots. Conduct. The entire convoy made it to the safe zone. The research on board those ships will greatly help us in our fight against the Shivans. You are to be commended for your diligence in achieving your objectives despite the hazardous environment. The Shivan bomber class you encountered has been designated Seraphim. Your scans will be helpful in determining its capabilities. Our scientists will present the results of the data analysis shortly. Well, uh, looks like we're only about nine minutes into this, so I'm going to do a two-part mission here. See if I can, if anything else is going to happen. GTA High Command is pleased to report a major victory in our war against the Shivans. A combined Terran Vasudan task force crushed a massive buildup of Shivan forces in Antares, destroying the SD Demiurge and a large number of supporting cruisers and cargo depots. With the removal of this nexus of activity, the Shivan Armada has been fragmented into numerous smaller secondary fleets scattered throughout known space. So it sounds Victory like we're winning the war the against Shivans, the Shivans finally. Though far from imminent, appears to be in sight. Both the GTA and the PVE are moving quickly to secure their positions and press the advantage. The GTD Minnow has been deployed to Beta Cygni and Betelgeuse, while the PVD Hope is en route to Vasuda and Alpha Centauri. The Krios, however, is returning to Antares to monitor Sheevan behavior and investigate several pirate factions that have cropped up in the aftermath of the Sheevan defeat. They cropped up that quickly? 
Terran Command has informed us that the escape pod recovery mix-up in Deneb was due to a breakdown in communications. Misunderstandings and bureaucratic errors such as these have unfortunately plagued the GTI command structure ever since the loss of the GTD Legion several months ago. Like Both the Repulse really and the Krios were accidentally this. assigned to the same operation and the Repulse arrived first. The first escape pod landed in the Repulse's hangar bay, while the confused personnel on the second pod landed in the Krios. After the Krios received confirmation of the Repulse's orders, the escape pod and its occupants were transferred to Beta Aquilae. Terran Command so, uh, has classified all official records pertaining to their proceedings on this side. I guess the mission that we did was classified, so uh, you didn't see anything. In the absence of further information, the Krios is continuing to investigate the Einstein's appearance in the Deneb system. According to service logs, the Einstein was reported destroyed during the initial Sheevan encounter at Ross 128. The Einstein had entered the system on a routine geological survey mission three days prior to the attack. Obviously, the Einstein's presence in Denim during our recent operation contradicts the official record. Well, we're an intelligence group. I mean, I'm the sure we fly all the time, but hey. At Ross 128, the Einstein was under the command of Captain Ezra Tycho, a high-ranking GTI officer. Though its official duties were limited to low-level planetary studies, the Einstein may have been involved in covert operations and weapons research. The appearance of they the may have been involved in covert in operations and weapons is research troubling. as well. Analysis of the Thank ship's you, flight Obvious. pattern indicates that it was performing a high-level scan of the area in and around the Deneb asteroid belt. The Einstein would be in an ideal position to observe and record the activities of all the Sudan research convoys in the area. The purpose behind these scans, as well as any data the Einstein gathered, remain unknown. Our well, brief interrogations of the, the Einstein students, I think that's a survivors good yielded right little there. useful information on this subject, as most of the command crew were aboard the escape pod retrieved by the Repulse. Recent engagements with Shivan forces have revealed the existence of a new class of bomber, which we have designated Seraphim. The Seraphim appears to be similar to the Nephilim in most respects, except that it boasts an additional four primary hardpoints, and its armament capacity is approximately 50% greater. Like the Nephilim, the Seraphim is a formidable foe. Pilots are advised to carry a heavy shield-damaging weapon, such as the Banshee. So, carry it in all the these bombers are expected. Carry we are unsure as to why the Shivans waited until now to introduce the Seraphim. Its deployment could have shifted the balance in a number of close engagements during the height of the Great War. Now, however, the Shivans appear to lack the initiative to use it effectively. Well, I'm sure it's just an oversight on Research their and part and they don't, has uh, completed field testing of its like latest they don't have any other prototypes or anything like that, you know. Featuring they high maximum velocity and excellent maneuverability, the Loki is designed primarily as a reconnaissance fighter. Its shielded reactor chamber and compact hull give it a low sensor profile, enabling it to elude detection by enemy forces. Pursuant to regulations, the Loki's onboard IFF transponder will emit an encrypted signal to allow targeting by designated friendly units. At this time, the Loki is restricted to GTI pilots only. No pilot well, in the GTI GTA pilots, so, uh, call they will get is to be authorized to fly the Loki until further notice. Well, let's see what the mission has in store for us. Approximately one hour ago, Pirate Raiders launched an attack on the Talos Particle Accelerator Complex in Antares. This facility houses top secret GTI weapons research laboratories and is of the utmost strategic importance to the Why world. Why in the hell would they care about the Particle Accelerator and the Pirate? Some of the station's research modules, already weakened by previous Sheevan attacks, reached containment during the engagement, causing a massive explosion that crippled the station and destroyed virtually every ship in the immediate area including the pirate attack force and the facility's defensive perimeter. The only craft that remain are a crippled Leviathan-class cruiser, the GTC Lido, and eight cargo containers containing critical weapons research. This information is extremely sensitive and must be recovered immediately. I don't know, I don't remember the pirates Since thing, the security uh, of this sector here, I think I left it with uh, another campaign that I played, uh, 
the station where they also had pirates and stuff like that, but at a later I date. don't see why Your pirates would attack a sure military installation like smoothly. that. There's, I mean, I'm sure there might be some Due financial the the gain defenses, from it, but it just doesn't seem very tenuous. smart. We expect the pirates to return and I mean, possibly attack then again, to seize the got weapon blown up. during their removal. You must prevent this at all costs. I mean, especially as quickly as they jump in. Reinforcements arrive. A repair Almost sounds like they're uh, to bring the Lido systems on part of to help rebellion or defend, something like that, but, but I don't think some they time are. This can be accomplished. Command and yes, I think it was going to happen arises. later in here, and yes, that was a little bit of a spoiler. But, but I don't think they're related to what happens a little bit later in this campaign. At least I don't remember them being related. It's giving me the adventure? No, I want the Banshee. There we go, Banshee. And then Hornets. Okay, let's go. I thought the base exploded. Oh, crap, look at that. An entire chunk of the complex is gone. The pirates are nowhere to be found. That doesn't mean they won't be back. Keep your eyes open. So, uh, oops. Okay, so they sent in a transport ship much, much closer to the uh, We're beginning the base than us. Sequence now. Pilots, protect the escape pods until they can jump. Nah, I don't feel like protecting anybody. Okay, that's where they're launching. And... Okay, so more freighters here. So, think this will be a quiet patrol? Yeah, I'm sure. I don't mean, get I'm, your I don't think anything up. will happen. Things are never quiet around here. Aside from the last mission. Air okay. debris. Pirates in the area. Okay, so pirates. Flying old hollow fighters that aren't really all that old yet because they just got used in the war that we just had. Oh, and they have shield systems, which I thought was still classified. Hey, to the Great shot. They're trying to steal the cargo with fighters when they know that the GTI has sent fighters in here and that they basically have no hope of surviving. Pirates aren't normally known for suicide attacks. Let's take out these freighters really quick. Something exploded into this freighter. Well, that's going down quick. Let's see, that's an Iota 2. To be honest, if they're really pirates, then yeah, we would have seen the last of them because they aren't suicidal. They, like, pirates shouldn't be suicidal at all. They don't, they don't normally go on suicide runs. Looks like they decided to crack the party. Oh, the Sheevan's attacking makes sense. And, I think I got a little bit of missile blast, but no damage. Okay, he's gone. Closing on the scorpion here. And shoot down. Shoot the missiles. I launched way too many countermeasures, but I guess that's better than like us uh, getting hit. Okay, get him with those missiles until I actually hit. Okay, they exploded right behind him. Not actually doing any damage. Manicore as well. Repair is complete. You have almost no hull integrity. Papa 1 saying 
that there are pirates in pursuit. our return to base thing. It says secure the area. The area is secure. Unless I missed something in the briefing. GG, she's by active. Python now on the station. Pilots, you are relieved. Oh, okay. So they want to send it. GG, we know departing now. Thanks for the cover, pilot. No problem. Try not to get yourself blown up next time. Excellent work, pilots. The weapon prototypes were successfully recovered with all records intact. This achievement will prove invaluable to the war effort. You also helped to rescue the facility's complement of scientists. Every life saved is critical to the war effort. You are to be commended for your skill in completing your objectives. We are pleased that the GTC Leto survived this engagement. With a few days repair in Trydock and a new crew, she'll soon be able to return to active duty. Great Wait, work protecting a, a valuable fleet asset. 
With the sector now I thought you already had a crew because they said something to us and then moved around, around and all that. The GTI expects to have the station operational again within the month. Alright, so they apparently do super fast repairs and all that stuff. Anyways, until next time, this is Trekkie1701C. Please remember to subscribe, rate, and comment.